In order to get some understanding about the realization of our state machines, we're going to discuss Boolean functions. So the definition of a Boolean function is that it is a mapping from n binary inputs that we here denote x1, x2 up to xn to one binary output that we will here denote u. So we can write this as a box, which is our Boolean function. It will take input from n different variables and then the output here will be u which is a function of the n input variables. There are many different boolean functions and we're going to look at a few in specific. So we're going to look at the function that is called not, the one that is called and, the or and the one that is called modulo 2 adder. Starting with defining the not gate or the not boolean function. This is sometimes also called an inverter. Uh, inverter is a little bit unfortunate name if you want to look at the mathematical uh, properties of this function. Uh, it is often better to call it the complement. So the NOT function we can say is the, will give us the complement of the input x. And we will here denote this as x prime. And throughout the course we will use this prime to denote the complement of a function. So if we look at the definition here, we have only one input, so we have x, and then the output will be u. So when the input is a 0, the output will be a 1. When the input is a 1, the output will be a 0. This is often written in this way. So this is the symbol to write our NOT function, we want to realize our circuits. So as the input we have x and at the output we have u which equals x prime. Another Boolean function that is very important is the AND function. And the AND function takes two inputs in the most simple case but it can be generalized to take many more inputs as well. The AND function is defined as it gives the output 1 when all the inputs are 0. So we'll typically write this as x1 and x2 in this way and sometimes you just write it x1, x2 and you remove this symbol that we have in the middle. So this uh, function will take two input variables. So if we look at the truth table for this function, we call the two input variables x1, x2 and then we have u which is the output and we have the different possibilities for the input 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 and according to the definition it will give a 1 as output when all the inputs are 1 so it will give a 1 in this part of the truth table and for all the other cases we have the output 0 the symbol that we are going to use for the AND function is this symbol here so we have in this case, two input variables and the output variables, which is given by the AND of the inputs. Another Boolean function that is also of great interest is the function that is called the OR function or the OR gate. This is defined as it gives the output 1 when at least one of the inputs are 1. So this is denoted as x1 or x2 using this symbol here. The truth table for this, again we have two input variables x1, x2. We have the output that we call u and enumerating the different possibilities for the inputs and looking at the definition at least one of the inputs must be 1 then it outputs a 1. So here, here and here it will output a 1 and only if both inputs are zero, then we will output a zero. So the symbol for the OR function or the OR gate is this symbol here. So again, in this example, we have two inputs, but this can also be generalized to many inputs. So x1, x2 as input, u is the output, which is given by x1 or x2. The final function that we're going to look at is the module 2 adder. This is also called the XOR function. 
The modulo 2 adder is defined as it gives the output 1 when the sum of the inputs is odd. And this is typically denoted in this way, so x1, xor, x2 in this case. So again, here we have two input variables, x1 and x2, and we have one output u, which is x1, xor, x2. So again, if we look at the truth table for this function, we have x1 and x2 as input. And again, we enumerate the different possible inputs. And looking at the definition, when the sum of the inputs is odd, then it gives a 1 as an output. So here and here we will have a 1 output. Here the sum is 0. Here the sum is 2, which is even numbers. So they will have the output 0. And we are going to write this in uh, this way, using this symbol. And x1, xor, x2 is written like this.